Library. I'd like to first um, thank uh, David, excuse me, David Nakamson. Thank you. I, I couldn't really pronounce it. I know so glad that Janelle was here to help me with it. David Nakamson for being so gracious to host it uh, here at such late notice because we really wanted this to come to the community so that the community can understand the history of the African drum. So I'm here once a month, at, more regularly in the past than, than recently, um, doing storytelling with my puppet Sequisha and some of the, the children here re realize that who I am and they recognize the Jolly Good Neighbor. So the word Jolly also means storyteller in African dialect. All right, so today, instead of me doing our story, we're going to perform the story of the African talking drum. All right, again, welcome, right, and I'm very glad to be here. The door. And okay. Sequisha, Sequisha, See if you can what? Move in are you paying attention? No, I'm on Facebook and I got this candy crush and I'm really excited about it. Well, what did we use, Sequisha? What did we use before we started using cell phones and something ancient a long time ago? Ancient? Hmm. Flip phones. Flip phones, they're ancient. Oh, no, no, no. Not the flip phones. All right. Oh, well, let me think. Um, mm, beepers. No, before there was technology. Go back further. Uh, telegraph. No, not a telegraph. Well, what else could it be? What else? Well, it could be smoke signals. <laughs> no. no, not smoke signals. All right, I think it was a drum. An African drum. It talks. A talking drum? I don't believe it. Well, let's call in an authority, an authority that's going to give us the history of the African talking drum and the beats of African people. Well, let me introduce her. Let me, let me. <laughs> Sorry. 